All right, hello, and welcome to another card opening unboxing video. And for today's video, we have uh, a random lot. I want to call it a mystery. It's not like a mystery box like I do sometimes, but it's a lot of Pokemon cards, as you can see by our buddy Squirtle here. Um, that I got online. So, let's grab it from under the desk. Oh, see if I can kind of show it. Kind of show it. I mean, it's going to take up my whole little camera set up on the side there, but. It's probably almost like a 10 pound box of cards. Um, I have kind of a little idea of what's in it but not specifically i know it is vintage pokemon cards from like 98 to 2000 ish um and i know it's a lot of commons uh i don't think there's holographics but there might be so could be in for a surprise well let's just dig into it and uh find out exactly what's in it all right and here's exactly what's in it <sighs> so they just threw it all in a, a big old ziploc bag that's ripped here so i'm guessing these cards aren't going to be in the best shape um yeah i see some of them bent this bag did have rubber ba rubber bands around it too uh i cut those off already don't don't put rubber bands around your trading cards. They will get bent from them. All right, let's just put this bag back. Off to the side so we have some room to work with. All right. Let's see, starting off strong here. A base set of water energy. Wow. Oh, e-reader shroomish. 2003. Let's kind of try to organize these somewhat like base set over here and some later ones over here oh base set two okay flipping it upside down we have who is this neo neo genesis chikorita starter for you and it's got some wear there let's look at the backs yeah they're definitely worn but all right trico your e-reader more Trico, okay. I'm probably gonna have to start going through some of these a little quicker as it goes to not make this video forever. We have Team Rocket, all right. There's a base set switch. Yeah, Chansey from Neo Discovery. This is 2004 Centret. Uh, oh, Grove Isle, there we go, Venonet, Doduo. I'll just put, uh, I'll try to keep them somewhat organized, but then I'll have to reorganize after this. Oh, gym leader, here we go. We have a why not reverse hollow, pretty scratched up. But there's a hollow e reader, that too. Oh, executor hollow, 2004. I just feel like it's kind of peeling on the side, but. All right, more, more natives. This guy had a whole collection of them. Exeggutor from Jungle. Farfetch from Base Set. Upside down cards. There you go, back to the Genesis, I believe. Some fossils, some Base Set Goldines. Base Set 2, I mean. Energies. Here we go. Ghastly 2006. Team Rock and Meowth. This one's got like water damage, but it's a lot of commons and uncommons. I mean, holy oh, all those Persians. Wow. Brock's uh, Rhyhorn. Okay. Take some more gym leader cards. Lots of bulk, but 
It is old school bulk. Chikorita Sita. Oh, Ivysaur, 2004. Oh, Rocket Charmander. Base set two Charmander. Base set Charmander. Take those, for sure. Misty's Cloister. Regular rare. Non hollow. Man, Tyke. Plenty more. Plenty, plenty, plenty more. Hopefully if there's good stuff and actual more like hollows in here, they didn't get too beat up. Lots of Charmanders. Okay, that's great. Definitely take Charmanders. Psyduck, Golduck. A couple of Tentacruels fighting. Clamper, all forgot that was a thing. Hopefully they're not too mixed up in here so I can just put them in stacks a little bit easier. Potions. Erica's Perfume. I don't know when the last time I've seen that card was. Energy search. Potions and energy searches and lots of trainers. Professor Oak and Mr. Fuji. All right, back to some Pokemon here. We have something on a sleeve here too. Uh, Diglett. This one's got like water damage too. Hanky. Hopefully there's not too many of them like that. Oh, okay. Interesting. We have a Japanese Neo Discovery Scizor. Let's see. Oh, he's super scratched up. Uh, well, I don't have this card, though. I don't have it in English, either. Oof. Oof, that might wipe off, though. Well. Oh, what is this? Cool sleeve. 2004. <clears throat> well, I'll put that with my Japanese card collection, then, I guess. Uh, now we're getting quite a few of them that have water damage. Always store your Pokemon cards <laughs> in a non humid place. Are you a hollow holding <clears throat> mentor? Master Ball. How many people used Master Ball in a. Uh, First generation of games on Mewtwo, or did you just throw it at like Articuno or one of the legendary birds right away when you found it? Dratinis. I'll take them. Ooh, more Dratinis. Like me some Dratini. Spiro. Okay, here's Eevees though. Those are good. Not really quick any rhyme or reason. The order of these cards. I'm trying to grab a stack. They're not. I was throwing a big old Ziploc bag, so what are you going to do? Card flip game. Teaching kids how to gamble since 1990... 1995. All right, more old school. Super energy retrieval, rare trainer. And scoop up is a rare, I always forget that too. All right, let's. It's throwing me off with all these random, oh, okay, random assortments. Trying to keep them organized. We have a Pidgeot 2004 hollow. I don't know what set this is off the top of my head. That was the hollow. It's a little scratched. Not as bad as the scissor. Not in the best shape, but like I wasn't expecting hollows at all. So I think maybe I saw that a picture with that why not. Um, 
and then maybe another hollow, but I don't remember. So like pretty much all of this is a surprise, like 99%. Lots of, lots of old school bulk. Some nice bulk to have though. And now these cards are feeling like they're in better shape than some of those water. Okay, jungle, uh, Kangaskhan, scratched up. That's unfortunate. Keep your cards protected. Uh, Blaine's a do a Drio. I don't have that, so. Colgus Pidgey, I don't think I have that one either. E reader Pidgey. Knocked out. That's cool art. I like his hoot hoot art too, though. Like two completely different styles of art, but. Like them both. Lick a tongue. Oh, Neo Discovery Porygon. Like, not even very familiar with that art. Because Neo Discovery was about the time that I stopped collecting Pokemon cards back in the day. Alright, oh no. Ah, it's so bent. So bent. Gollum Legendary Collection Hollow. Oh, no. I put that under a book and <laughs> flatten it out a little bit. It's bent there. Ah, oh, somebody should take better care of these cards. I hope they weren't in better shape before they got thrown into that Ziploc bag too. That'd be really bad. Cyndaquil. Oh, these ones definitely got wet or something. Maybe in somebody's basement or garage. Cadabra. Lots of Cadabras. Which apparently Pokemon is allowed to make new Cadabra cards now or whatever. Because there was a magician that said they were infringing on his rights because of the spoons. Because a magician that did bending spoon tricks. And uh I mean, apparently, oh, we have a hollow muck. Nice fossil. Still beat up. But it's a hollow muck from 1998. But apparently, they didn't have to stop. Like, there's nothing really legally stopping them from making Kadabra. I don't know. I guess they just decided not to, to do it. I didn't want to deal with it, maybe? I have no idea. I don't know the exact details of that story, but... And then apparently recently that magician, illusionist, whatever you want to call him, said he was wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ditto Delta Species Charmander. Nice. That's actually a nice card. Let's get the card full heal. That is... In much better shape, much better shape. A little bit of dings here and there. I think that one's a highlight. Oh, Mr. Mime, everybody's favorite. And <laughs> Jinx, everybody's other favorite. It's more Neo Discovery, Neo. Uh, this, this is Neo Discovery, that's Neo Destiny. My bad. This is a legendary collection, I think. They set two one rockets and this is gonna take me a while. I maybe oh. these piles are getting all messed up, especially by the uh, warped cards. Oh, Gengar Fossil, nice and beat up. That's unfortunate. Oh, Dark Gengar, nice. That art is crazy, I like that. Uh, Neo Destiny. 
for that mean mug. Deep sleep. It's not in awful shape, but it is scratched. The Dark Gengar. A haunter. Regular haunter. Is coming. Some like nasty cards off to the side, I guess. I think with this lot, it all broke down to like 17 cents ish per card. By the, I don't know the exact amount of cards, but according to my guesstimate of how many cards were in. In this lot by the weight, the total weight. Just, ugh, that one's, that's too bad that some of them run like that. These Kolavos and Cyndaquils got messed up. Deoxys 2005. That's the newest card we've seen so far. Dark, dark pupitar. Here we go. A meowth, rocket meowth, and a hollow crobat 2005. Delta species. Okay, nice. Not familiar with that card. I was out of Pokemon during that time. Master Ball Delta Species with a nice crease. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. a Dark Tyranitar, 2004. All scratched. Oof. All right, I will take these cards out. Oh, my champ, first edition. It's all completely warped. I don't know if they're if it's possible to get these flattened out a little bit somehow. I mean it is like the most common base set holographic though. Oh, here we go. More Gengar. Gengar 2006 Hollow. Shadow Curse, Curse Reaction, Super Side Bolt. This one's in better shape. A little bit. This is a cool haunter. Like I'm not even familiar with those arts. Oh, <laughs> no way. Reverse hollow e-reader Mewtwo. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. If only it was in better shape. Still really cool though. Holy cow, Dark Alakazams. That was unexpected. What else is going to be in this box? The e reader cards are pretty nice too. Not necessarily the easiest cards to come by, even the commons and stuff. Squirtles. I think Pokemon was just kind of at a low at that time, after the huge spike from the late 90s. And even the early 2000s, and then whenever this was, like 2003, 2004, I guess it's 2002. And I did have an e-reader back in the day, too. Um, I might have... I might have had a Pokemon. I know I had like Animal Crossing e-reader, Dark War Turtle. Uh, Animal Crossing e-reader cards. That I think I used when you had to connect your Game Boy Advance with Marsh Tom's having a good time in the mud. Connect your Game Boy Advance to the GameCube and swipe that thing on there. More Squirtles. I'll take more Squirtles. Oh, whooper. I gave up on stacking Sabrina Psyduck. 
I guess I'll have to do that afterwards. Like 20 minutes into this already. Oh, I haven't ever seen this art. Mantine. Misty's Polyworld. That's a big old tentacle. More War Turtle, more Squirtle, I'll take them. Hopefully there's a lot of Bulbasaurs and some Pikachus in here too. This is great. I think this is a really good deal, um, in my opinion, so far. I mean, I did pay quite a bit for this lot, but... <laughs> This Dark Marowak. Ominous. It's like Batman up there. Dark Dragonair. Nice. Murkrow Sneasel. Remember that card. Oh, base set two Polyrath Holographic. Oh, that's unfortunate. Swampert e-reader. Let's get some uh, hollow e-reader cards in here. There, there we go. Reverse Marsh Tomp e-reader. These old reverse ones seem to always be scratched up like that. Cool. Some Cyndaquils. Brock's full picks. He's got eyes just like Brock. Lots of Vulpixes. Whoa, some new ones. Big Vulpix. Oh, promo Entei. Nice increased. We'll find a hollow that's not too bad here. I'm sure of it. It's Ponytas. Oh, it's a little bit of Ponytas. Dark Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Don't think I've seen any uh, Shadowless in here. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't complain about what I've gotten so far. Maybe other than the water damaged cards. I don't have too many of them like that, so. Alright, we got more energies there. And there haven't been too many energies either, honestly. Something in this is. Throwing the stack off, like there might be some things clumped together there. Yeah, this one I have in here. I have in here, and like two cards get oh, it's like a whole stack got stuck together. Mm -hmm. And just energies, luckily. Yeah, some of these definitely got like I don't know, rained on or maybe a basement flooded. It's e-reader butter free. Oh no, I said not too many energies so far. Here's all the energies. Oh no. <laughs> no, there's so many. There's so many. Okay. Back to the good stuff. There we go. Meganium and Get this energy out of here, man. All right, Lady Blood, Ariados, Metapod, Colteen and Krabby, and Poliwag, and some trainers. All right, nothing spectacular in that. Oh my God. I still don't think I'm even halfway through this. Uh, this I might have to really edit this down or something. But <laughs> here's something. Uh, Jungle Vaporeon. This one's scratched too. A little warped. It's a shame. Still Vaporeon hollow though. Here we go. Lots of, lots of old school bulk. And the Rattata chewed a hole in that fence. I was probably pissed about that. That Charmander, head button. Pupitar, Delta Species. Numel, Team Magma. Okay, oh wow. <laughs> Alright, Slugma, calm down. 
There we go, Dark Golduck. Slow poke. About to go fishing. Hop up. Everybody's favorite. No, oh, Butterfree. Oh, oh, this poor Weezing. Oh, that poor Weezing. Delta of species. Ah, no. Why? Oh. Rest in peace. Bulbasaur Ditto, Delta species. Ouch. At least the Charmander was nice. All right, Erica's Executor. Oh, here we go. Okay. Dark Arbok. Beat up. Not as bad as those other ones, though, but. Lots of snakes, lots of bats. Random Hinotama in there. Oh, did I already shuffle through these? Yeah, I did. I'm getting mixed up. So many cards here. I don't remember my estimate of exactly how many cards were in this lot. Um. It was like a couple thousand, 2,500 cards maybe? I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Hopefully I get to do shows again here soon and sell some of these. Sell some of these off. There you go, non hollow uh, Ditto Charmander. I'll put that off to the side, because why not? Oh, it's got something stuck to him. Oh no, come on. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. <laughs> okay. They just want to stick together. Some Japanese Wigglytuff. What do we have here? Oh, what's behind that? Ugh. What? They, it's not even a hollow. I miss these Polyrath. Just. Okay, I guess they really like that card. It's pretty cool. Oof. What they do to you? What do they do to you? <sighs> Look how they mess with my boy. Rest in peace to the legendary bird. I'll hold a candlelight vigil for that guy. Some mankeys, some, some rocks cards, dark dragon air, nice. Love that art. Tratini, I like that art too. Man, why the hollows have to get, it's probably because they are hollows, because they're made with a little different material. The pubitar is kind of cool. We got some more stuff stuck together. Oof, 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 oof. Ah. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, all these Voltorbs are stuck together for some reason. What, like, what happened? All right. Oh, okay. Looking up a little bit here. Erica's Clefable. <laughs> and it's not too terribly damaged. All things considered. All right. Well, I mean, I'll take some of those for my own personal collection. I don't need them to be in perfect mint condition. Interesting EV art. Slacking. Hollow E reader. Nice. This one is in better shape. Wait, it's got no uh, things on it. Is this a real card? It's got like no code bar, bar, uh, that pattern on it. Like that one down there does. Huh. Yeah. Snubble. Pretty pissed off. All right, I'll just keep some of these upside down, I guess, just to shovel through them. Like 30 minutes in here. Oh my god. I didn't even think it would take me this long. Well. I was thinking like 30 minutes for the whole thing, but obviously I way undershot that. Then again, you need to shuffle through every single card. Oh, lots of polywags and. 
Lots of upside down. But hey, I mean, if you wanted to see somebody shuffle through the bulk of old school cars, there you go. Dream come true. Here's the Bulbasaurs. Oh, E-Reader Bulbasaur chilling. Ivysaur, nice. Hopefully there's a regular Voltorb in here somewhere. I need that and a Doug Trio because I looked back through my binder recently and somehow I missed that those. I had them in there, but they were shadowless ones and I took a second look at them. I'm like, wait a minute. These are fake. I don't know how I missed it before, but from a couple of years ago. Maybe I wasn't looking that close a couple of years ago. When I started recollecting old cards. And then insane gold bat. Imposter oak. Oh, my energy. Let's get these out of here. Ugh. Take the trainers over that. I mean, at least Brock looks pretty cool. Oh my God! There's, there, there's so many. There's so many. Where am I gonna put all these? Uh, Brock's Graveler. Oh, here we go. Brock's Prime Ape. Underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. Lots. Well, if I have any. This is taking so long my computer screen is going to sleep if i have any holes in like my rocket or gym leader ones sets then of the commons at least then i probably have all of them here here we go dark gold bat what shape are you in beat up Beat up, but not destroyed like that Ho-Oh in like my dreams. There we go, another Dratini. It's cool. Another art that I haven't seen before. The E-Reader Weezy. Let's keep on shuffling here. Like, holy. I can't believe I was about to. Oh, these are all. Ah, another. I mm -hmm. rolled up water damage, but champ. I can't believe I was going to try to organize these all like on camera. <laughs> oh, I see another hollow back there. What is it? Uh, base set two Clefairy. Two of them, twins, both warped, Hitmonlee, Dark Dug Trio, non hollow. Alright, alright, enough of the energies, oof. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone picked up that thud of that just stack of, fat stack of energies I just threw on the floor. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, well there's darkness energy, metal energy. I think I can almost see the bottom of the bag at this point, almost. But... Oh, more and more, <clears throat> more energies. There we go, though. Big ride on fan. Some strong muscle guys here. Brock's Diglett, only, only his strongest Pokemon. Everybody remember fighting Brock's Diglett at Peter City Gym back in the day? He didn't have a Diglett, by the way. Just in case if he didn't remember. A Weedle. All right, so more energies, more energies, more energies. All the energies were at the bottom. Oh, that's a hole. Oh, 
Both the species dragon air. That was a lot. A lot of energy. Still some more. Here's some real cards. All these energies, man. Somebody wants those. Dark Vile Plume. Oh, I got duped here. And there's a hair cross. A pine cone. Pine cone. <laughs> Bet nobody's ever made that joke before called pine cone a pine cone. You only hear grade A jokes here out of me. Oh, nice. Face it to Dragonair. Saying true, adorable. A whooper. This guy means business, too. Never seen a whooper so serious. Here's like a. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, no. What's all in here? Whoopers? No, there's like base set too much chop in there. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oof. All right, maybe this wasn't <laughs> the best deal. Maybe it was still decent, though. It was still decent. Um, definitely a lot of good old school bulk. Here we go, Eradicate 2004 Hollow. And lots of hollows here that you probably don't see too often. Ooh, there's another. Take a look at that guy in a second. Just have to look at this. All right. As I say, you know, stuff from this, like this era, 2004, you probably don't see these hollows that much out there. Oh, Dark Raichu, nice. Take that guy. Here's some Pikachus, all right. Oh, oof, oh. Let's take, oh, is that it for the Pikachus, really? Come on. Some Jolteons. Is there a Voltorb? <laughs> I only need one, come on, just give me a Voltorb. You know, Blaine's kank is gone. Regular kank is gone. There's a Snorlax. There's a Dark Dragonite. Not hollow though. All right, we're getting down to it. I definitely see the bottom of the bag at this point. Right, back to some colorless cards. Oh, no, back to some fighting cards. Orange cards. What do you guys call them? Man? Call them by the color? Call them by the type? Because there's more than one type per color, usually. Another Delta Dragonair. Delta Dratini. Some more e reader I'll take that. Their Charmander. Oh, here we go. Jungle Scyther Hollow. I actually don't even know if I had that. And I definitely have not been straight up collecting recently because how much more difficult it is to get Pokemon cards right now as compared to a couple of years ago. All right, any more hollow surprises here? Just a bunch of diglets. Just a bunch of little nubs with noses sticking out of the ground. Kind of looks like a veggie tail character in that picture. I don't know if people are even that familiar with veggie tails or. There you go, Misty's dugong. Or if that's just me because I went to Christian schools. More energies to throw on the floor. All right, uh, that's, what was that? A sprout Tower. Oh, 
This energy's out of here. Oh, there we go. Geo do ditto. Nice. A dark choke. Plague Sire. There you go. Another Geo ditto. Dark Primate. That's what I'm talking about. That art is actually really nice. More Brock. More Brock cards. <laughs> this Diglett is like, holy shit. More energies. No wave is about to. And a massive crit on that poor Diglett. Some Caterpies. Surprised none of those, uh, none of these stacks up here have just fallen over on me, but probably just jinxed it now by saying that. Oh, beautiful Sabrina's Venom Moth. Dark Ariados. Upside down Ivysaur. Erica's Bulbasaur. See any more hollows? No. I don't believe this poor Metapod. What happened to this guy? Having a bad day. What is, oh, there's a piece of. There's a. Oh, straight up Rand. There's a couple of them. That was out of here. winding down here getting kind of sad getting kind of sad I could do this all day honestly but then I'd have to pay for more cards <laughs> and uh that's not happening considering how much I've spent recently on cards oh, more energies more energies more energies more energies more energies, more energies. Oh, 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 oh. oh no I think that's it. I got the last stack in my hand. Oh, I'm seeing more energies, of course. Let's find something to end this off here. End this off big. There we go. Here comes Team Rocket. Hollow. This is a. Uh... Oh no, it's not a secret. I was gonna say it's a secret. <laughs> I don't think secrets were a thing yet. There is a secret. Here comes Team Rocket, though, in one of the later sets. Which set is that? There we go. The Rocket's Trap, another hollow. I'll take them. Don't have either of those. But there's a secret rare version of that hollow in one of the sets. Oh, lots of upside down. Oh, light new gong. Light card, nice. Can't believe I haven't seen a Voltorb yet. There's a Voltorb. There we go. That's what I needed. At least I got one. I don't think there was a Doug Trio though, unfortunately. Oh, these ones are stuck together. That's great. Uh, Brock Subat. Pretty sad Slugma. Be sad if I was a Slugma too, honestly. That adorable Growlithe. Eric is Jigglypuff. That Dark Arbok. Uh, more disappointment here. And that looks like it's it. Man, I have a lot of organizing to do. Let's grab the hollows again. Take a look. We'll, we'll look at these dittos too, just because I like them. Dittos. 
Take a second look at the hollows. Here comes the rocket, rocket's trap, Scyther, Dark Raichu, Raticate, Clefairy, Clefairy, Machamp, Dark Golbat, Slacking, Erica's Clefable, Rest in Peace, Ho oh Dark Arbok, this poor uh, Delta species, Ditto Bulbasaur, Weezing, Ugh. Vaporeon, Entei, Reverse Marshtomp, Polyrath, there we go, nice. Reverse Mewtwo E Reader, Gengar, and the Champ, Dark Tyranitar, Master Ball, Crobat, this nice dark Gengar. Gengar, Ditto, and this warped. The legendary Golem. I think it's a legendary collection. Legendary Muck. Legendary Kangaskhan. Legendary Pidgeot. They're all legends in my mind. All on Mentor. This is a Japanese Scyther. Scizor. Uh, Executor. And why not? Because why not? <laughs> and there you have it. There's a big old massive. Like an almost 10 pound box of Pokemon cards all opened up. And uh, until next time.